Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will take a look on LT Spice on the Mac, specifically on the transient analysis using a time sensitive component. In this case, we will start with a capacitor. To start with, first we need to get rid of one of our resistors just to clean up a bit. So we hit right click, edit, and then go for delete. And then we will just cut out the second resistor here. So next up, we will add a component. So we use again the right click and then we go for draft component and we will just look for C. I already did this, but you can see as soon as you search for C, capacitor comes up. So placing the capacitor, we don't need to place it like misaligned and then connect it with a wire. We can right away click here, even though there's no nice animation shown, but it will connect properly. You can kind of tell by this little square disappearing. Anyway, here we need a little bit of a wire. So again, right click, draft wire, and there we go. In case you need a little bit more background how to navigate in LT Spice on the Mac, make sure to check out our previous video about all the basic controls, which I won't cover here, but I will always use the right click menus and so on, and no shortcuts, just for, so it's easier for you to follow. All right, next up is to set the size for the capacitor. So right click on the capacitor, and we will go for 47 microfarad. It's very important here to use the symbol and not like times 10 minus six. So using 47 times 10 exponent minus six is not really working or can cause a lot of trouble and it will mess up kind of. So safe way is to use the symbol. Obviously you can set many other properties right here in this menu, like series resistance, I think one of the most important ones or you can also pick from the database a part that's actually is existing in the real world and then it will pull all the information like manufacturer, part number, type and so on. So if you're working in a proper development project, of course, that's super important or most importantly for the simulation, the series resistance. But normally that's anyway pretty small. So we will skip this one and move on. So only thing left to do is to set up the actual simulation. So we hit our little simulation menu right here on the trends one second, right click, and there we can set now the parameters. To do so, we will now again navigate to the hidden menu, right click, help me, analysis CMD. And again, if that's new for you, make sure to check out the previous video. So here we are, trends and analysis, the time we wanna simulate. And now the very important one is that we hit this checkbox here, start external supply voltage. So our only supply voltage we have, at zero volt, mark this checkbox and you see here in the command it's trans one second startup. It's incredibly important to do this, otherwise you will not have this nice uh, transient analysis that we're looking for to determine the charging chart for the capacitor. So before we move on with a simulation, obviously it makes sense to have a little bit of a rough understanding what kind of time we're looking at so that we can simulate in the right time frame. Obviously we could try and error it, but I think it makes sense, especially for engineering topics, that you always have a rough understanding which size or which dimension you're looking for and not just randomly simulating stuff. So we know that our time constant tau is r times c and also the, we know that the time constant is actually 63% of our supply voltage. So normally you say that five times tau is the actual charged state and but also four times tau is only like 98% or something of the complete charge. So it's kind of um, already there. Anyway, let's uh, assume we wanna have five tau. So first we need to calculate tau. The resistance is 10,000 ohms times 47 microfarad is actually resulting then in 0 0.47. So around about half a second of tau. So five times tau should then be around two and a half seconds. So that's what we are looking for as our simulation time. In case you would like to have a basic video about capacitors and charging time and so on, just let me know down in the comments and I will make sure to push out a video about it. Anyway, let's move back to the simulation. As we calculated tau around half a second and five tau would be 2.5 seconds. So very important here, use the dot, not a comma. This is all using the American or British. I'm not even aware who does the dot as a comma. Um, here in Central Europe, we're obviously using comma as a comma and a dot as a dot. But anyway, so if you want to do a comma or 2.5, um, so that's the way to type it and not with a comma. So here we go. 
you see the command out down here, transient analysis, 2.5 seconds is the total dura duration of this simulation and we do the startup, which means we start our voltage at zero volts. So now we have everything set up and I just want to quickly summarize here. The most critical or common mistakes are the following. Use the symbol to indicate the size, especially with capacitors. It's very common that you're not typing 0 0.000 whatever. Uh, so you may be likely to use new value times 10 minus 6 or something. But please make sure to use the symbol. Next one is in the simulation, have the checkbox at startup activated. And also obviously the most important one is to have a rough understanding what time frame you're looking at that you can select the right time frame and here make sure to use the dot and not the comma. So if you checked all those boxes, let's go ahead and hit the simulation running. I will make sure to move this window a little bit aside again and let me make it actually a little bit bigger so you guys see it properly. All right, here we go. So now let's select the voltage we are want to measure. What I normally do is I select the supply voltage first, so I get already a rough understanding if everything is working correctly in the simulation. So here we can see it, yes, supply voltage is there, but we can see it starts from zero. Next up is the voltage of the capacitor, and as expected, we can see a nice charging chart here. So obviously it starts at zero, and we end up at 99% of the supply voltage at five tau, as we calculated, and that seems to work quite well. Only thing left to do to complete a nice charging chart of a capacitor is the current through the capacitor, the actual charging current, and obviously it's kind of the inverted development of the voltage, since as higher the voltage, as more difficult it gets to charge it, or as more full the capacitor is, and thereby the charging current will fall. So simulation worked, looked pretty easy here, but that's because I made all the mistakes I just told you about before and learned it the hard way. So I hope this video helped you to set it up right away in the correct form and actually enjoy working with, with the software and not running in all those dead ends and need to come back and try and error your way through the navigation. So that's all about the transient analysis I wanted to show and some with some time sensitive component like a capacitor. Next up will be a video about how to create your own component, your own model actually, in case you have a specific part, a real world part available, but you can't find it in the library in the database here. So I think that's also very helpful if you want to simulate your actual circuit that you're planning with your parts. In the meantime, thanks for watching and see you next time.